This is to mom. I want to go to Seattle because I see You make me feel like there's blue skies and sunshine and everything will be alright. Cause I never have to worry. You always push me to my limit. And at the end of the day, I know we're winning. Cause you take me high. Take me high Oh, you take me high You take, take me high What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am, for those, for all my new subscribers, my name is Monique. I am the mother of Deshay Frost. Brooklyn Frost and Amari Frost. I'm gonna do my hair while I do this video. Um, and my son's an actor, he's also a YouTuber, and I manage him. So a lot of my content is just a lot of day-to-day -day stuff, um, vlogs, pranks, all type of stuff that I do on these guys or that they do to me. Um, I wanted to, first I wanted to just let you guys know that I love you guys' support. Thank you for all the positive comments. Thank you for all of the likes, the comments, the subscriptions. Um, thank you for all the, just all the positive energy you guys give me all the time. Um, give this video a thumbs up too. Um, and yeah, just thanks for rocking with me. But what, what this video is about today, well, today I wanted to address something that um is always asked to me so that thing is why amari doesn't live with us it's a pretty sensitive subject for me because he's my you know he's my son i love him um but let me start off by letting you guys know that we moved uh, me and the kid's dad we're not together anymore so once we got a divorce we moved um i went to school in georgia we ended up moving to atlanta um when amari was like five he was five so um we spent about five years there then moved back to seattle um stayed in seattle for about four years and then some opportunities started presenting themselves for Deshay. So we ended up moving to Seattle or to Los Angeles. Well, Amari didn't really want to move to Los Angeles, but you know, I like to keep all my kids together. And you know, I wasn't, I'm not okay with like them being split up, you know, cause we all, we're all we have pretty much. Um, so we moved to LA. Um, like two, like within the first year, um, Amari was like, okay, I want to move back to Seattle. And I was like, okay, well, you're going to have to tell me why. At first it was just like, no, it's, it's not a, we're not going to, we're not going to discuss it. We'll figure it out, but we're not going to discuss it. Um, I put him in a school, I put the kids in a school that they really enjoyed. Um, they made a lot of friends at that school. Um, but he was still always asking to move back home with his dad. You know, it was just an ongoing thing. Um, one day I went into the garage because we were cleaning out the garage and I saw him looking at a picture. I have a picture of this, mind you. He was looking at a picture of him and his dad. And he was just in a gaze like for so long that um, I had to get his attention and be like, Mel Mel. And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, come on, let's go. We're moving. Let's let's pack up the truck. <clears throat> so that always stuck in the back of my head because I know like his heart, he wanted to be in Seattle. I pulled him away from a lot of stuff um, from Seattle. And we tried to rebuild these same things in Los Angeles um, while making sure that we supported Deshae in his acting career. Um, I supported Brooklyn with school and with whatever activity she wanted to do. 
and the same with Mel Mel. He was playing, I got him into football, got him into basketball and things like that, but it just wasn't right. Like he had a lot of friends, they would all come over after school. Like, you know, we did a lot of stuff, but I think for him it was just like, he felt like something was missing. Um, and he asked to go to move back to Seattle. But this time when he asked, it was more of like, I had to address, I had to address it because I didn't have any more excuses as to why. <clears throat> um, he kept saying no. Um, I kept telling him no and not giving him explanation, just like, let's not talk about it. And then finally, this particular day, I knew that he was serious about it. He had been calling his dad. He had been reaching out to different family members in Seattle saying that he wanted to move back home. So I had to give him more of a more of a reason as to why, which I didn't really have a reason. So um, besides that, I wanted I didn't want to let him go. You know, I love him. I wanted him to stay with me. Um, so. On this particular day, I said, okay, I'm all right. He came, he came in my room and said, mom, I really want to move to Seattle. I'll pay for my own ticket. Like, tried to make it as easy as he could on me. So I told him, I said, well, what I want you to do is write me a letter. If the letter makes sense, if everything in the letter is gives a reason that's that could be validated as to why I should let you move back to Seattle, then I'll let you move back. So he said, okay. Walked out of my room, came back to my room within a matter of um, a couple minutes. And not even a couple minutes, maybe like 10 minutes. Came back and gave me the letter. I have a letter. I cried when I read the letter and I folded it up, put it in my drawer, and closed my drawer because I didn't want to um, <clears throat> address it, you know. But I saw what it said and, <clears throat> sorry, I had to address it. I had to realize that that's how he felt. So I have the letter with me so I can share it with you guys. Um, oof. It says to mom, I want to go to Seattle because I see an opportunity for myself and their schools focus on education as well as sports. My dad lives right next to the school that I want to go to. I like that Seattle is small and I have to work hard to be the best. It will be better when or if you move down there in two years or whatever you said. Please just give me the same opportunity that you gave to Shay in following my dreams. I love you. Love, Momo. So, um, within the next week or a few days, um, I ended up buying him a ticket, um, flying him down there. We went to the airport, Brooklyn, prayed for him. She held his hand and said a prayer for him and have a picture of that too. And he was off. And I told him I'll come visit him at least once a month. I tried to do that, um, but work got in the way. <clears throat> but I go down there to support him as much as I can. Um, I really miss him. I wonder if he would move back. I think I'm... Where's my phone? I think I'm gonna see. I think I might fly to Seattle and try to convince him to move back. Let me call him. Probably at school. 
Anyway, um, I'm gonna try again, and then if I can get a hold of them, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna go to Seattle this weekend and try to see, you know, it's been a while, so maybe he'll want to move back with me. Um, yeah, I think in person's better, so anyway, thank you guys for listening. Um, I hope that explains everything, and I'll see you guys. Bye.